Amida Buddha gives deliverance to all and makes no distinction between men and women. We who are embraced in the compassion of Buddha should reflect deeply in our hearts that regardless of sex or age, all are imperfect and foolish beings. Jodo Shinshu just rejects reliance on self-power as a means of attaining Buddhahood. Self-power means doubting the Buddha mind and believing that I am quite capable to attain Buddhahood by myself. This is the result of a person not being able to see himself as an imperfect being filled with desires and lusts and causes him or her to repel the compassionate light of Amida Buddha. The Buddha's wisdom has seen that the sentients are unenlightened and will continue to repeat the cycles of birth and death because of delusions and ignorance. Therefore, Amida Buddha calls us to entrust ourselves to him. Once we are able to deeply hear this call of Amida Buddha, the darkness of self-power reliance will be shattered, and the gift of pure faith of other power will make us reflect and say, I am deeply thankful to know that the Buddha's compassion embraces me, shamefully imperfect though I am. This awareness becomes the core in this life of a Shinshu follower. Just living as best as possible and with gratitude within the embrace of the compassionate Amida Buddha is the life for us which ties us to the pure land. When a person accepts the way of Nembutsu, he or she realizes through the wisdom light of Amida Buddha that although his or her desires and cravings are not eradicated, he or she sees the arising of shame and repentance for having given reins to his instincts. From this time on, he is given the blessing of self-reflection, which makes him try to become reserved of heart and righteous of conduct. Remember that Amida Buddha established the primal vow of compassion to give deliverance especially to us, the suffering sentients. Oh, how important it is for you to have faith! All of us imperfect and weak beings should reflect that our lives are made possible by the blessings of others, and that therefore we should discard our egotistical attitude. And with gratitude toward others for the many favors, we should be mutually considerate and trusting of each other. Furthermore, we should give thought to what we can do to bring happiness to others, and earnestly endeavor in its accomplishment. We must bear in mind that the thought of a return, for I did this and that for others, is the root of unrest and disharmony. People are prone to criticize and disparage others, but if you should criticize these people, you will fall into the same error. It will be much more constructive if we utilize the criticisms and disparaging remarks as an incentive for self-reflection and together with all those involved, consider ways and means to live in such a way that does not invoke disparagement. The teaching of Jodo Shinshu shows us the way to deliverance, and worship is given just to Amida Buddha alone. Shinran Shonen said, After my death, throw the corpse into the river Kamo as food for the fish. Just so, because our birth in the Pure Land and attainment of Buddhahood are established through faith which is the beneficence of Tathagata, whether or not a funeral is held is of no consideration. In Jodo Shinshu, through the power of the primal vow of Amida Buddha, the follower attains instantaneous birth in the Pure Land upon death. In Jodo Shinshu, the follower is born in the Pure Land and will attain Buddhahood instantly with death. <laughs>